So Pro Tools now has a free version of it called Pro Tools First. And it lets you do a lot of things completely free, although it has some limitations, like the main one being you can only record up to three different sessions, and they're stored in the cloud. You can't access them directly in your desktop. Um, it is possible to take those recordings you make, those sessions you make, though, and import them into the full version of Pro Tools. So if your friend has a full version of Pro Tools, or if you download the trial of the 30-day um, trial of the full Pro Tools, you could import those files into the full Pro Tools and continue to work on those sessions like normal. If you're taking a class in Pro Tools um, and you don't have it yourself too, you could start doing some of the work or practice some of your skill sets on Pro Tools first. And then when you get into the full Pro Tools, you can continue to work there. In this scenario, I'm going to show you how to do that. So once you get the program downloaded, I'm going to um, show you what it looks like. It's telling me I have um, a gigabyte of storage in the, in the cloud. So I'm going to call this thing um, Piano Fun. And for some reason, I think it doesn't work properly with this version of the uh, operating system with Mojave on Apple. So uh, create. And now I get this um, this window here. I have showing my cloud storage. I have um, things that I can upload and download. This type. There's a lot of cool sharing features with it. What I really want to do is to see how to move it from this Pro Tools to the Pro Tools full version. So cool, I've created a session, recorded some MIDI, recorded some audio, and I'm going to save it, file, save, um, and now I'm going to go ahead and quit this thing. Um, if I do that, though, look what it says. There are tracks with changes which have not been uploaded to the internet, there are tasks which are incomplete. So I'll say cancel. I don't want to do that until things are all saved. Maybe this is the uploading thing. Upload all new changes. Okay, here we go. So I think that's good now. Let's quit it. Save changes, sure. Just making sure all this stuff is uploaded to the internet and saved for me. So when that's all done, if I go to a computer that has the full Pro Tools on, this is a full Pro Tools, so it has a purple color rather than the grayish one. Yada yada, it loads all the stuff. And then if you log in, if you just go into whatever the Pro Tools is, click on here and log in with your user credentials. When you do that, if you go to Projects here, it'll show the thing you created on the cloud. So I'm going to click here to download it. And now it's going to download from the cloud the session I had from Pro Tools first. Once it downloads everything, I'll be able to open it up in Pro Tools. Great, now everything's downloaded. I'm just going to double click on it or hit open. And the same project I had from Pro Tools first now appears in Pro Tools here. I can continue to work on it and do whatever else I want to it and with the less limited version where I have you know quite a bit more instruments and quite a bit more effects and that type of thing and of course in this version I can create as many sessions as I want and save them wherever I want so it's kind of nice there